Uh, my name is Frank Hatzis. I'm at Wildfire 2016 August, and this is the performance recap. Yay! And what did you spin, Frank Hatzis? Oh, okay. So <laughs> I spun a fire broadsword that I um, put together and rope dart. Awesome. Okay. Um, um, useful things for people to know about practice technique, or you know, be it drilling, or pre preferably starting with the choreography. How you build. If you're drilling and you're not going insane, you're not drilling. Okay. Um, oh, uh, complete sentences if we can, because they won't. Okay. We're gonna edit me out. You can probably. If you, anyway. the person watching, <laughs> are drilling, and you find that you, the person watching, are not insane while drilling, then you, the person watching, are not drilling. Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, is there anything that you wish you knew? before you began this process that would be helpful to you if you could tell yourself in the past? Hmm, something I wish I knew. Yeah, um, I, I know that there's a rock here <laughs> and if I could teleport back in time to a week or so ago, whatever it is, I would say, Frank, remember, there's a big rock there. So work around the rock. Don't be surprised when you get there to see the rock that you actually already knew was there. Be aware of your stage. Yes. Okay. Um, the rock may be your answer to this. Is there anything uh, unexpected, be it good or bad or whatever, that came up for you that would be useful for you to know in the future or other people to know? Um, Something unexpected that came up. Be it, uh, could be backstage stuff, could be um, costuming stuff, things that broke on your tools anything yeah you know i um i was a little disappointed about the fire transfer from sword to rope dart i was supposed to do that off my body and when i was going over it uh with the person who grace gracefully and graciously helped me i remember just kind of being like yeah she's got it yeah she's got it yeah she's got it and i've done it before and it's always been successful because i put the person down and said this is exactly how it's going to get done and blah 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 and you know totally whatever anal retentive over it but i got the results i wanted yeah. whereas this time i wasn't as you know adamant about it and i was like yeah i felt like i was bothering people to help me with it so i didn't want to over ask for help or practice or anything like that which in hindsight uh was a mistake because if you're going to help me then you need to be prepared to put up my bullshit and that's it Totally gotcha. All right. And I'm sorry, Ben, I forgot to ask you this. Um, uh, is there any place where people might be able to go for more information on what you do, Frank Katzis? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Uh, <laughs> we have a great website called ropedarts.com, and it has literally anything anybody would ever need to start rope darting. If they've never done it before, if they've been doing it, it's the number one resource on the planet. Ooh, that Period. sounds sexy. All right. Um, questions? Comments? Uh, cat calls? Anything? Um, how uh, did, did your piece have a narrative? And if it did, how did you arrive at the creation of that story? That is a real, uh, that is such an in-depth thing. Uh, uh, no? I was just going to say speaking complete sentences to answer because they won't be able to hear her. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. So, wait, can you repeat it then? Because i got to repeat it. Julia? Sorry? Can you just repeat that <laughs> one more time? Because I need to repeat it. Did you have a narrative? Um, did you have a narrative to your piece? And if you did, how did you arrive at it? Uh, my piece did have a narrative. And I would love to say that it came from a place of, oh, I want to do this thing and put these things together. But truthfully, I'm tired of taking people's crap about what I do. And I decided to make a piece to shut a bunch of people up. And I hope they see it and then shove it right up their ass. <laughs> That's my narrative. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, Dale? Frank, uh, would you share with us, you seem to have been on a journey these last years on the idea of including your sexuality in your performance. What's that been for you? Including my sexuality in my performance is... I don't know. Uh, I'm still a little bit, I don't want to say awkward about it. That, that's way deeper than I, I feel about it. I'm still trying to get more comfortable with it by just making me do it. 
So I just make myself do that kind of stuff more often in a hopes to trick myself into being comfortable doing it to maybe a point where I'm okay with it. So. If you need help with your sexuality, I think we have a lot of volunteers here who are, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we're we a community a of sharers. Volunteer based community here? Yeah, yeah. I need help with that shift. Um, My tent was very quiet this weekend. Aww, just saying. What's that all about? I don't know. Any other questions? Anything else about Frank's sexuality? <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. Uh, Kink play preferred. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we know. It is recorded. All right. Uh...